guys, it's Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for The Walking Dead episode 8 of season 3 called Made to Suffer, and this is the mid-season finale of The Walking Dead, so I don't think we're going to get episodes until February 10th, I think it is, uh, so we have about two months of No Walking Dead, so, you know, this episode had a really, um, show a lot. I mean, it really had to shock us, because those are usually what mid-season finales are in general, is to shock us and get us excited for the winter hiatus. And you know, with The Walking Dead, you don't even need a mid-season finale to shock us, so you knew the mid-season finale is going to shock us even more. Um, so let's see if that's what it did. Um, we get to see in this episode that, you know, Rick and the group, they're outside. Uh, Woodbury, they have to get Glenn and uh, Maggie. They end up getting Glenn, uh, Glenn and Maggie, but they pretty much terrorize um, Woodbury, at least in the governor's eyes. So, um, also Michonne is with them, and Michonne kind of has a vendetta. She goes into the governor's office, and she finds heads. She finds zombie heads, and she finds this little zombie girl. She's like, oh, who's this? At first, she thinks it's like a regular girl she, uh, that he kidnapped. He's like, oh, this is why I had a gut feeling he's a bad guy kidnapped the little girl, but really it was his daughter, and, um, the daughter was a zombie, and then she's like, it's a zombie, she, and, uh, she's a, she's a zombie, she, she's not her anymore, but the governor walks in and sees that, uh, Michonne's gonna kill his daughter, and, um, he gets very upset about this, but, uh, Michonne does kill the daughter, because she says, this is not her anymore, this is not, um, your daughter anymore, so, the governor, gets very upset about this, so they have this random, well not random, but they have a really big fight, um, probably one of the most, most tension, uh, scene in this whole entire episode, uh, definitely had a lot of tension, edgy or C type of scene, um, where we get to see the governor loses his eye, and, um, that's a big part because that is the governor in the comic books, he loses his eye, he has an eye patch, that's the governor. Um, also we get to see, um, with the whole not Woodbury part with uh, Carl and uh, Bethany and Herschel, we could see there's another group of survivors and uh, Carl kind of takes the leadership role of saying, all right, well, you guys are safe now because they're being attacked by zombies. Carl saves them. He's like, guys are safe. You stay in your section. We'll save, uh, stay in ours. So it's something that Rick would do. He's just kind of taking a leadership role of that. And also Tyrese was in that. And I know in comic books, I've heard the name before. He's very popular. So I'm sure we're going to see more of this group. Um, and we'll see in the next season how... Uh, they either will join maybe the group or maybe try to uh, say, hey, we're good people, let's, let's show, let, let us show you we are good people, let's try to join your group. I mean, I'm, I'm sure we'll get to see that more towards the uh, next half of the season. Um, so that's kind of the Carl and uh, Bethany and Herschel part of the episode. And also get Andrea, she's just kind of seeing all this happen, her being a little confused of saying oh, so what's going on here? Like, why is your zombie daughter on the floor? So she hasn't said much, but you can see that she's kind of confused in this whole episode. Uh, we also get to see the last part of this episode, which is very shocking, uh, shocking, is that we get to see the governor is giving a speech saying, hey, I'm fearful. You know why I'm fearful? Because there's a terrorist and uh, a double agent in our group. And guess who that double agent is? And at first I thought, I was like, oh, she, he's just going to mention about Michonne and she left. But no. He says Merle is the double agent and his brother is the terrorist. So we finally get to see Daryl and Merle come face to face, but in a way that none of us, at least I didn't expect uh, to see it in. Uh, seeing them face to face in this arena, um, the governor saying, hey, Daryl's a terrorist, Merle let him here, so you guys, uh, you're gonna die. So that's, and then Andrea's just shocked. She's not saying, oh, kill them, kill them, but she's just kind of like, so who do I side with, the governor or Daryl? You know, not Merle, but Daryl. Who? It's pretty much who do I side with, my old group or the one I love, the governor, and my new group, Woodbury. So, there's a, like I've been describing with this whole episode, there's a lot that happened. Um, I think the the best scene that I was shouting and I was like, what, what, ah, you know, I was screaming and I was like, uh, very excited about and on the edge of my seat was the scene when the governor loses his eye, because I don't read the comic books, but I do know some tidbits about the comic books, and, um, that's just 
the climax of his character is the eye patch thing, and that's that's when he becomes the governor. So it's very interesting to see how evil he is, and I feel like we've finally seen how evil the governor is in this episode. And um, and I think one of the reasons I love that scene is just how he reacts when uh, Michonne is holding his daughter, like what, how the governor says, "No, I'll, I'll do anything. Don't, don't." kill her and just really you really feel he would do anything for his daughter anything just the way he says it it's just amazing how your gut really feels the you feel that character saying that's the only thing in the world he cares about and then when Michonne pretty much killed her again <laughs> I mean since she's already dead but kills her you know that that was just the icing on the cake and uh, the governor I mean, when I was actually reading, um, you know, watching the last part of this uh, scene where he's uh, crying, I'm like, I feel like he's crying more, not that he just lost his eye, but really that he lost his daughter, and I, I felt that, and you could feel how much pain he felt because he lost his daughter, and him not really understanding, alright, she's a zombie, she's not my daughter anymore, I think that's the hardest part of this whole, this whole show for these characters, and this whole entire apocalyptic world is when they lose their family members, how do you kill them off, and I think we also see that with um, Tyrese's group, where we get to see um, one of the, I guess one of the members uh, get bitten. in. It shows how hard it is to kill someone um, even though you, you know they're going to turn to zombies and they won't be the same person. You feel like they're the same person. I, I think they're balancing that out and the governor just doesn't understand. He just knows that's his daughter and he'll do anything to bring her back. And that's why he's doing all these experiment, experiments and stuff because he wants his daughter back and now there's no hope. Uh, so yeah, I thought that was the most powerful scene in this whole entire episode and really great. And I love how they did the whole bandage thing to show the eye patch. thought that was very great. Um, also that last scene just made me, uh, very excited. I felt like I just didn't want it to end because I wanted to see more. Not in a way that was a cliffhanger like, what? No, I need to see more. It's one of those scenes where you felt like it was half done. And you just needed to see more because it felt like it just wasn't finished. You don't really get that that much with the mid-season finales or any finale, really. Um, and I'm glad they did it in such a different way. It wasn't a cliffhanger like Sophia, you know, coming out of the barn. It was one of those things like, so what happens next? Is Merle going to die or is Daryl um, going to die? Which I don't think Merle will die. I think if anyone would die, it would be Merle. Because I just don't think Daryl would die because that's a fan favorite. And I think people would be very upset with that. But um, I don't think Merle's going to die either. I just think Merle, now this is giving a chance Merle to join Rick's group. And I think the question for me the most was, is Andrea stupid enough to be with the governor? And I think with the coming attractions, that is going to be the part um, I guess she's going to struggle with. I mean, it seemed like she's going to be like, I want to see the, this group again. I, I didn't know who survived. I didn't know where they were. I want to see my group. Uh, so who does she care for more? And I think that's a question I, I'm very excited to see with the next episode. And I think this mid-season finale, um, had some shockers. Also, we had Oscar die. Um, I thought, you know, we always have to have one death in the mid-season finale. And I felt like he was an expendable death, so I didn't really care that much about it. Um, he was a second tea dog so, um... But I felt like I wish I did see him a little more than he could have developed. Um, but I felt like he was kind of a filler character anyways. Uh, we, we have Axel still, so I know he's supposed to be important. And he was hitting on Bethany, so that was a little weird. Uh, so we'll see more about that in the next couple episodes, I guess. So he's a little weird. Uh, he was a creeper at that. Uh, so that was a really weird scene. Um, so we'll see more about Axel. And I, I think one thing I'm excited to see is uh, more people join the team who will join the team. We also get to see Michonne. She's like, you still need me. Because uh, Rick is ready to say, hey, Michonne. Bye. Go by yourself. You know, I, I still don't, I still don't trust you. Because, like, through this whole episode, we're like, um, well, we know we trust Michonne, but Rick is very hesitant to trust uh, Michonne, which I wanted to see in the last episode. I'm glad that we get to see that in this episode that Rick's like, maybe she's tricking us. Like, who knows? Uh, and I think he's still hesitant about it, but Michonne's like, you still need me, so, you know, use me. You know, uh, let me join your group. So, that, that should be interesting to see if Michonne will be trust trusted by Rick in the group and how that will happen and like I said I'm just very excited to see the Andrea thing I think that's what I'm most excited for and just the Daryl and Merle just talking to each other and just see what happens with that scene uh will they leave the governor and now we finally see the governor's a big villain and I'm glad we're seeing that because 
like I said, with this whole entire season, we get to see the governor just be, yes, we feel like he's a bad guy, but, like, how is he a bad guy? We, we felt, we had gut feelings that he was a bad guy, but he wasn't really showing it, and now in this episode, he's just saying, even though Merle didn't do anything, he's just saying, Merle's a bad guy, so go ahead kill him even though as uh, his second in command pretty much so we get to see what the governor will do and now that he lost his daughter i don't know what he's striving for right now but he definitely has a goal which i will we'll probably find out uh through the season so great mid-season finale i actually think this is a lot better than the sophia mid uh the mid-season finale with sophia being reveal that she's a zombie. Even though that was a great mid-season uh, mid finale, I just think with this whole ending and just a, just a different type of tension in this episode, uh, I just thought it was really great. Um, I gave it five stars. All the characters were great. Everything was great, especially the governor really shined in this episode and makes me excited for February. I'm definitely very excited. Uh, so five stars, watch this episode, February 10th, I'll be back with reviews for The Walking Dead, and super excited to see what happens next, and I don't know if I'll be able to wait through this whole break, but I'm sure we will. Great episode, and, um, so yeah, I'll be continuing to review The Walking Dead in February. So tell me your thoughts about this episode in the comments below. This is Comic Uno, hope you guys enjoyed, and guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Rant Situations. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, guys.